Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to explain line by line sonnet 18 of William Shakespeare but if you are new to my channel then subscribe the channel and like the video. Well, let's move and explain it. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? The speaker begins this sonnet by asking a question. He is not sure whether he should compare his beloved to a summer's day or not. He tells that if she should compare his beloved to a summer day or not. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. In this line. The speaker then goes on to compare his beloved with a summer's day and says that his beloved is more lovely and more temperate than a summer's day. In other words you can say that the beloved is more beautiful and moderate in nature compared to a summer day which can be too hot or stormy. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. The poet then goes on to say that rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. This is a reference to the fact that summer days can be unpredictable and can sometimes be destructive. In simple words you can say that harsh winds can disturb and shake the delicate buds of May. And summer's lease hath all too short a date. In this line Shakespeare gives a reference to the fact that summer is a fleeting season and his beloved's beauty is not fleeting. But will last forever. Basically, he is metaphorically treating summer as if it were a rental or lease that has been granted a limited amount of time. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines. This also very beautiful line in this the poet says that sometimes too hot the eye of heaven shines. Here in this line, eye of heaven, is used for the sun, which can be too hot in the summer. The speaker is saying that his beloved's beauty is not harsh or overwhelming, but is gentle and refreshing. And often is his gold complexion dimmed. In this line, he gives a reference to the fact that the sun can be covered by clouds, which can dim its brightness and on the other hand, his beloved's beauty is always radiant and never fades. You can say that. The sun can be dimmed when clouds cover it but his beloved is so beautiful that nothing can dim her brightness. And every fair from fair sometime declines. In this line again he reminds us the fact that all beauty fades away eventually and his beloved's beauty is not subject to this rule, and will last forever. Simply, it means that all beautiful things can fade away or vanish but his beloved's beauty will never fade away like other things. By chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. This line also very outstanding because in this line, by chance or nature's changing course untrimmed, Shakespeare is saying that beauty fades due to random chance or the natural course of change. He is using the word chance to refer to unexpected events that can happen, such as a storm or an accident. He is using the phrase nature's changing course to refer to the natural processes that happen over time, such as aging or disease etc. It means that beauty is not permanent. It can be taken away by chance or by the natural course of things. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou oust, in this line the poet says that his beloved's beauty will not fade like a summer's day. He is using the phrase, eternal summer, to refer to the beauty of his beloved, which he believes will last forever. He is also saying that his beloved will never lose the beauty that he sees in her. And the phrase, that fair thou oust, that means, the beauty that you own. Here, Shakespeare believes that his beloved's beauty is a part of her very being, and that it cannot be taken away from her. Basically, this is very beautiful poetic expression of love. It reminds us that beauty is not always fleeting. And that it can be preserved through art and through the love of others. Nor shall death brag thou wanderst in his shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest. In this line, Shakespeare is saying that death will not be able to claim that his beloved has gone to his shade. He is using the phrase, his shade, to refer to the darkness of death. 
He is saying that his beloved's beauty will not be lost to death, but will instead be preserved in his poetry. Though he write because he preserved his beloved's beauty in his poetic form as we are now reading and enjoy it. Let's see what he says further. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. These last lines are very outstanding because here in these lines. Shakespeare is saying that his poetry will give his beloved's beauty eternal life. He is using the phrase, men can breathe or eyes can see, to refer to the human race. He is saying that as long as there are people who can breathe and see, his poetry will live on and his beloved's beauty will be remembered. Basically, in the last lines of this sonnet, Shakespeare writes that his poetry will give his beloved's beauty eternal life by preserving it in words. The poem will be read and recited for generations to come. And it will keep his beloved's beauty alive in the hearts and minds of those who read it. Well guys, if you have enjoyed the lecture then please, like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.